OpenSea is in trouble. It went from four billion in sales in January of 2022 down to 100 million. What does that mean? A 95% loss in volume. Hey guys, welcome back to the show. Today we are here with the one and only Da Vinci. How are you doing? I'm in the pipe, five by five. You know how I do. How are you doing? Finally, we are back. So we have a lot to discuss. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, we're talking about NFT. So check this out. Lufthansa takes customer loyalty to the next level with NFTs. The parent company, world's largest airline, has announced the launch of a NFT-based loyalty program. Each card is designed around specific teams, such as Location visited, aircraft by airlines, and special holidays. Uptrip is the name, right, um, the, of this, this program. It, um, I'd have to take a closer look at it. But uh, so you get, uh, you can buy these NFTs or are they giving them away to the, their current loyalty fam? They give them away, but then users can exchange them. So I guess if someone wants to sell it, another user can buy it. So, yeah, I mean, I wonder, um, I'd like to get some of these NFTs if it's possible. Are, are they available for trade right now? Uptrip also plans to introduce a trading function allowing users to exchange cards. So plans. So probably it's coming. It's coming. They don't say when. So for now, you can only collect them, I guess. I mean, do you guess? I guess you go to their loyalty program. And so it's not really an NFT until... Uh, I mean, they are saying during his initial testing phase, the program drew the attention of more than 20,000 participants who accumulated over 200,000 of those digital trading cards. Scan your boarding pass and redeem your reward. So it looks like you can do it through the, through the app. All righty. Sounds good. Sounds good. The NFT-based approach is gaining traction in the airline industry. For example, in July, Etihad Airways, the national airline of the UAE, stepped into the NFT world by launching his Mission Impossible delivery tokens. And then uh, Argentinian budget airline Flybondi integrated Web3 technology into ticketing in March, partnering with NFT ticketing company TravelX, again, to allow users to buy tickets through NFTs. So it seems like there are... There are some use cases in the air industry, the airline industry. These are different from points in a sense, or like where you'd, um, the point system is just like a, a, um, like a fungible token, such as Bitcoin or Ethereum or any kind of other token, and they won't have any differentiating value. Whilst an NFT can have differentiating value based on what you get from the NFT. So that's why. Um, and that's why it's valuable for these uh, corporations because they will also be able to get what's it called uh, a, a renewing revenue, recurring revenue from the trades of these um, assets. So that's that's why there's so much corporate interest in this particular uh, environment. And you can see where they're going to is uh, Polygon, which makes me wonder: is there a is there a controlling mechanism in Polygon? that the government can do or something like that. I'm going to take a look at that. So I haven't really looked at Maddox's um, white paper and, and understood how it works. So there might be some like sanctioned behavior that the government likes about Pontiac that the corporations are following into. So who knows? Let's take a look. It looks like many companies have chosen Polygon, even Starbucks for the membership reward for the coffee system. They've chosen Polygon. So yeah, it's a good point. Maybe they have something. But check this out. A YouTuber loses... 60,000 worth of crypto after showing his seed phrase on a live stream. We talked about the importance of self-custody on your channel, right? So during the live stream, uh, Bianco opened a document that revealed his seed phrases, a move that allowed unknown individuals to take control of his wallet. 86,600 Matic were taken, approximately 50,800 at the time of the theft, plus a 3.35 ETH, almost $6,000, were stolen and then a bunch of NFTs. And then uh, Bianco said, I won't say the name of the guy because in the end he returned the funds. I just wanted to share the experience. But hell of a mistake, right? Yeah, I can, you can understand um, how that can happen. I'm sharing this screen, right, as you can see. I slide over. Once I slide over, right, I could accidentally slide. Like, let's just say I'm presenting over here. And I'm going like that, doing this. And I accidentally slide over and now my seed phrase is here. That's probably one way it happened. Yeah, uh, you wouldn't probably click on it. You just happened to have it open because you were working on, you had other text inside of that information on that screen. Uh, that's, that was, uh, that's probably what happened to this gentleman here. I didn't see the video where he, he got, he lost his seed phrase, but 
yeah, it, you do not do not use your computer, your primary computer, to store uh, text base, your seed phrase. You can use it uh, on uh, what's it called, password manager, and at least the password manager will close right um, after a, a time of no use. I had my seed phrase open. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> And like you said, try not to put them into some sort of a Google Doc share document or notes in your phone because those things have access to the cloud, right? So you don't want that to happen. And ideally, like you said, you should have a different computer, the one you use to do whatever you want, play video games, watch videos, and then a separate computer for you know, your kind of crypto. But luckily for him, in the end, he got his money back. Adidas unveils a NFT artist residency with plan of physical collaboration. I think this is really cool. The streetwear giant stated that the residency by Adidas program is poised to welcome a diverse array of digital artists all across the globe. It will be a one-of-a-kind opportunity to showcase artists and also enable them to engage in collaboration, both digital and physical. It will begin September 7 in Seoul. Youth is your privilege and hype, as you can see them in here. And there will be an option to purchase them and getting a hoodie, 0.03 ETH. And they will have also 100 pieces per artist and exclusive hoodies package price for 0.15 ETH. Interesting. They allow people to pay with fiat. It was actually kind of cute. Uh, by the way, the, the, the name of the city is called Seoul and just like the soul of your, your body, right? And so they, they, that's why they, they part of the soul searching, right? As a play on, on, on the city name and uh, soul, the word soul. So uh, that's pretty cute. cute. Uh, especially for kids. So uh, yes, uh, I would like to attend one of these things, but they have to be in Dubai. Korea is a little far away. Uh, you know what? I, I've never been to Korea or the Asian parts of the, uh, other than Singapore, to the Asian parts of uh, uh, of the planet, but uh, it'd be interesting to go one day. I like Seoul. It's a cool city. I mean, I've been there a long time ago. I think it was 12, 12 years ago, maybe more, but I enjoyed it. I was there only for a week, but uh, I really like it. And check this out. Amazon is giving away free NFTs. Finally, Amazon is starting to be involved. If you remember, they were supposed to be launching an NFT marketplace, but nothing has happened. So Amazon Prime is dishing out free gaming NFTs to subscribers through the Prime Gaming Portal. To collect the loot, interested buyers can browse the site in the in-game content and select Flame. One free package includes a NFT, a Dome Striker, which is a game champion from the Polygon base. Again, Polygon base everywhere. The strategy game Mojo Melee, supposed to be a famous strategy game. And in here, they are saying earlier this year, Amazon was rumored, exactly like we are saying, to starting to launch his own NFT marketplace, but in competition with OpenSea and Raribo. Bridging NFTs into gaming has been an ambition for many gaming companies, including Ubisoft, Konami, and Discord. So we'll see what we're going to go moving forward. If and when Amazon is going to play this game, I think will be very interesting. Yes. Exactly. I mean, if they're going to join in with the, uh, the marketplace, it's kind of like we're at the bottom of the market. So it's a good place to, for them to start if they want to do it. Providing free NFTs is a good starting place for Amazon, actually. I don't know if you heard, but um, X or, you know, former Twitter has guaranteed the crypto trading uh, currency license, which means they will at some point introduce cryptocurrencies, maybe as foremost payment or as foremost reward. We don't know but when those companies are going to start rewarding and introducing cryptos to their user base. They will onboard a lot of users to crypto. So it will be very interesting to see what game we're going to face moving forward. Because if this happens now at the bottom of the market, like you were saying, when we pick up again, I mean, it's going to be very interesting for sure. And speaking about the bottom of the market, the NFT giant OpenSea faces unexpected drop in August. They have been destroyed by the competition. You know, there's been a lot of new marketplaces coming up and OpenSea, let's say, let's face it, is probably not the best when it comes to customer support and many other things. So they could only dominate the market for a certain amount of time. And I think one of the reasons besides, like you said, the market it's also a competition, I guess. Yes, uh, not only the, their competition has been uh, fierce, but you know the uh, the market has uh, shown that the you know the crypto interest has dropped to the its all time low at this point here in uh, uh, this summer time. Um, you, you see it in, in all the tokens and so forth, and um, and just the overall market cap, although it's uh, it's 
it's recovered a bit, but it is um, there's not a lot of like trading volume, or it's dropped off heavily, uh, even for exchanges. So that shows that you know uh, people are just not here in this market. If they're not willing to trade or willing to buy and sell this uh, the the crypto or NFTs or whatever, that means it's uh, it's a very low market, regardless of the price. The price is totally separate from. Uh, how many people are willing to buy and sell? 100 million is their, their volume just for August alone. And we looked it up. It's four, over 4 billion, right? I mean, they've, they've taken a bunch of interesting decisions. So in between market going down, competition, maybe bad choices, I think they are feeling it. I mean, obviously, August is not a greatest month. Many people are on vacation and blah, blah. But still, it's 98%. That's a big chunk of change just dropped off. It's definitely... Definitely a hit. <laughs> Leave a mark. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. But Da Vinci, thank you so much for your time, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to come back next week because we will be coming with another video. Cheers.